Well, the TSX was closed for Thanksgiving, but on Wall Street, this was a record-breaking day. The Dow Jones Industrial gained more than 900 points. It's the biggest one-day jump ever. This after European governments made a series of moves to shore up their banks. Allison Smith reports. Governments let loose a torrent of cash. Across Europe, as much as $2 trillion in loan guarantees and other financial supports. A $480 billion bailout in France. In Germany, $500 billion. We are taking drastic action, said Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel. No question about it. British taxpayers are becoming even bigger bank shareholders. The British government is taking a 60% stake in the Royal Bank of Scotland, one of the nation's largest. 40% in emerged Lloyds and HBOF Bank. The government cannot just leave people on their own to be buffeted about. For savers, for small businesses and for homeowners, we must, in an uncertain and unstable world, be the rock of stability upon which British people can depend. The word nationalization never passes the politician's lips, but it's become the solution. I think it's the last resort solution, but uh, I think two months ago, whoever thought about this would have been fired and kicked out of any parliament in the, in the world. At the U.S. Treasury, it appears the government is stepping up its plans to pour money directly into banks. The heads of some of the country's biggest financial institutions were called to meetings in Washington this afternoon. The point man on the $700 billion U.S. rescue plan, a former NASA engineer, told a morning meeting of bankers the government is moving as quickly as it can. A program as large and complex as this would normally take months or even years to establish. But we all know we don't have months or years. All those taxpayer billions aimed at banks made stock markets smile. They were up in Asia and Europe. And that astonishing rebound in New York, a one-day wonder, or a portent of things to come. No one watching can be certain. I'm just wondering what's going to happen in the future. And how will this happen again as well? Analysts, too, caution, markets are volatile. Many investors still fearful. And the critical question, will the billions of taxpayers' dollars being thrown at banks around the globe give life at the crux of this crisis to the still paralyzed credit markets where banks and businesses borrow? Alison Smith, CBC News, Washington. <laughs>